What is Trifor? Some describe it as a lighthearted, casual mode. Others describe it as quick fun that you can play with friends. I describe it as hell on earth. Playing this mode even remotely competitively is like balancing a stack of bucks on your head. And then some jackass comes in, pushes you over, spits on your face, and dances on your corpse, even though you're completely fine for the majority of the game. <sighs> Alas, it is the inevitable reality of Turf War. So when Splatfest comes creeping out again, I sentence myself to the nauseating and painful grind of Top 100. Why do I do it? Well, it's simple really, because I guess I have nothing better to do. And if you have nothing better to do either, sit down and let me tell you how you can get Top 100 too. So, tell me, what do you do in Turf War? Well, you paint a little here and there, and hopefully you paint more than your enemy team. But obviously, that mentality alone will not be enough to get you the win. So what does get you the win? Well, it lies a little deeper. But let's get the obvious out of the way. The Splash is what I would consider a very good weapon for a mode like this. Not only can it paint, but it can also kill, and it's got a nice little special to go along with it. Any alternative that does the trick just as well would also be wise to use. Sure, use whatever you like, but hey, you can't beat the meta. Meta, 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 meta! But that was the obvious, so let's get a little deeper. Now whatever you can use, they can paint, they can kill, you can do this, they can do that, it's all ultimately not. If you can't play the game correctly. And the game of Turf War can get a little weird. Now let me ask you, what's the most important part of Turf War? It's painting. But painting what? Of course, the sole decider of a match usually comes down to whoever has control of mid, more or less. Being able to control the paint in the middle of the map is one of the most important aspects to winning Turf War games. So how would you get this done successfully? Well, first off, treat the enemy base as extraneous territory. It's unnecessary. It's a risky endeavor, and you really don't need to do this. Except maybe at the end, when you have nothing to lose. Now, that doesn't mean to avoid the enemy base entirely, but you shouldn't make it a priority to take it over. Think about it this way. You're only feeding them paint so that they can get their specials. And if they kill you while you're painting their base, it just gives them all the ammunition to repaint their base back and take over mid in quick succession. Being in their base means that you're not watching mid or your base either, so they can easily take over these unbeknownst to you, which can get a little messy when that happens. Your priority should be maintaining mid by any means necessary. This means keeping up pain in mid, aggressing people who are trying to take mid, and watching for flanks that could potentially be infiltrating your base. And be careful, because dying could mean the total collapse of whatever presence you have in mid, and your advantage will disappear in a heartbeat. Turf War, for all intents and purposes, is a terrible mode. It's a plague on the competitive landscape, and I think it should be eradicated at all costs. But it is also something that is an inevitable part of life. And so we embrace it. So let us fight the good fights for whatever team we arbitrarily choose because our friends chose it, and at least try to have a bit of fun in a world so bent on self-destruction. Or you know, maybe just sleep on the Splatfest. You figure it out.